Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TVMI. It is Monday, December 8th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I hope everybody had a great weekend, and my personal thanks goes to ABC Family. Yesterday was the CableNet's annual event at the skating rink in Rockefeller Center. We attended, I think, for the 11th straight year. It was great fun, as always. Once again, thank you, ABC Family. Let's begin today with news on some scheduling updates from CBS. The upcoming series finale of the long-running Two and a Half Men will conclude its 12-season run with a one-hour episode on Thursday, February 19th from 9 to 10 p.m. What CBS will begin doing the following week on February 26th, it will introduce its Odd Couple reboot at 8.30 out of the Big Bang Theory. At 9 o'clock, the network will air repeats of the Big Bang Theory into Mom. So, the CBS Thursday night comedy rotation, effective on February 26th, the Big Bang Theory at 8, leading into the Odd Couple at 8.30. We have repeats of the Big Bang Theory at 9 o'clock, and we have Mom at 9.30. Elementary will stay at 10 o'clock, and my personal opinion is... Airing a repeat of the Big Bang Theory every week is extremely lazy on the part of CBS. The network did not have enough comedies to air this season. And obviously, the McCarthy's, which is currently airing at 930 on Thursday, that only has a 15-episode order. And chances of that returning for a second season are very slim. Also at CBS, the network has scheduled its upcoming scripted dramas, Battle Creek and CSI Cyber. Now, originally, CBS said it would air CSI Cyber, which is the third spinoff of CSI that was supposed to air Sunday at 10 o'clock. Instead, Battle Creek will take over that time period, Sunday at 10, out of The Good Wife, effective on March 1st. And then on Wednesday, March 4th, CSI Cyber will debut in the 10 p.m. hour on Wednesday, filling in temporarily for Stalker, which will be taking a break. At that point, by the way, CSI will have either concluded the season or the series. I have more information for you on the CBS changes in today's newsletter. CBS also, by the way, has come to terms with DISH. The carriers, the CBS stations, will remain on DISH. The WGA Awards, which comes from the Writers Guild of America West and the Writers Guild of America East, the nominations for the shows honored in 2014 have been announced. Amazon Prime Drama Transparent leads the pack with two WGA nominations, and the list of shows with two nominations each are Silicon Valley, Game of Thrones, Boardwalk Empire, and True Detective, from HBO, CBS is The Good Wife, AMC's Mad Men, Louis on FX, and finally, ABC's Modern Family. I have a complete listing of the WGA Award nominations in today's newsletter and at our website. Fans of Downton Abbey, if you would like to catch up with the fourth season in time for the fifth season premiere in January, I have information for you how you can do so in today's newsletter. PBS will be airing all episodes from the fourth season this month. Coming up on the air tonight, we have the season premiere of Holiday Reality Theme Competition, The Great Christmas Night Flight, which I have a very hard time saying. And then we have the return of Mike and Molly on CBS tonight at 8.30 p.m. I don't necessarily understand why Mike and Molly is returning in December, considering the fact that the networks will basically be in repeats by the end of the month, but it is coming back. This is the fifth season of Mike and Molly today in TV history. Let's go back to 1952 on that day. Lucy, Lucille Ball, has to tell Ricky that she is pregnant. Ricky, of course, was played by Desi Arnaz. Now, at the time, this was kind of controversial for the broadcast networks for a woman to be pregnant. And it was not actually the first time that a series dealt with a pregnancy. The first show was an early comedy called Mary Kay and Johnny. Regardless, Lucy goes to the club. She tells Ricky she is pregnant. The title of that episode was Lucy is Ansante. That was in 1952, amazingly, 62 years ago. Much earlier on this day in 1990, we had the series finale of cult CBS crime solver Wise Guy that aired for three and a half seasons. It produced 75 episodes, and it starred Ken Wong. And that is our daily video cast 
from TVMI on this eighth day of December. I thank you for joining me. I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.